how to add payment method on GoDaddy website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can add your payment method or your payment getaway into your GoDaddy website or your store on GoDaddy and receive payments from your clients. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over godaddy.com. Then you need simply to head over the sign up section and sign up for an account. Once you have set up the account, you are going to see here the dashboard of the GoDaddy uh, here, as you can see, website builder. How we can access the website builder here, obviously you are going to head over the home page of GoDaddy. Then you are going to see up top here, we have domains, uh, websites and hosting, email and etc. So we're going to select your website and hosting. Then you are going to select website builder. Now, when you select the website builder, it will show up right there, the uh, platform. So we are going to select our account from here and select my app product. If you don't have some product, you're going to create a website or something like that or anything that you want. So. Once you are here on the dashboard section, you're going to see the websites that you have. But here I want to notify you that you need to create a website that will contain a store. So how we can do that, either we are going to set up a free website or a new one, which will give you a marketing uh, website plus marketing free trial which is going to be here an online store for booking an appointment, then you are going to add the online store or you can go ahead and start with sell an online store. So make sure that you are going to add the store or the e-commerce option in the both options right there. If you are going to set something else, which is going to be a news website or something like that, you are going to add it. So you are going to select the store. Then for example, we are going to add e-commerce or something that is related to stores or online stores, then you are going to type in the uh, store name right there. For example, Jack's stores. Then you are going to click on continue. After that, you can go ahead and get the help of the AI to select or create some contents, but I'm going to skip that. I will wait for the website to be loaded right there and add uh, the different section to it. So make sure that you are going to add a store. So this is how simple it is to create a store into the uh, GoDaddy website builder. So it will not take that more than one or two minutes. Right there, we are going to select here the plan. So either you are going to uh, run it for free uh, for a certain period of time, but you will not get the benefits of the premium features, or you can go ahead and select one of the plans and pay it here monthly or yearly. So I'm going to uh, wait here and select the free plan. Now, with these sections that are going to be a preset and pre-made to your website, you're going to see them here at this uh, window. So we are going to see all of these, but here is the most one that will interest us. It is this one, the online store. So we are going to see it here. So we are going to create your store. So I'm going to click on continue to my site to see here and highlight everything on it. Now I'm going to skip the tour. And then as you can see, we have the pages or the site navigation of our website and also the management of it on here. We have it on the right side of the screen. So we have the home, we have the shop page, we have the privacy policy, terms and conditions. These are standards. So when you are going to see here the website, you have the online store. So you can import either products or add the product. So make sure that you're going to create some products, but first create your store. So here you can go ahead and get the AI, of course, of the GoDaddy, which is called Iro. And then you are going to add the image and it will create a description, a title, and also some tags to it. But I rather right there create it with a manual if I have some very good uh, SEO competitive uh, keywords and etc. So right there we have the product type. We have two, the digital products and also the physical products. So we are going to set one of those or add one of those, and then you are going to set up the name of it. For example, we are going to add a T-shirt 
t-shirt design design and it is going to be here a digital since it is a design now for the image you are going to add an image or a presentation video i am going to add for example a logo and this is the design that we are going to uh, sell so we are going to wait for the upload to finish up and then we are going to process the image and we are going to add it in short here we have the design and now we need also a description a price for it for example 25.99 and a sale price of 20.99 like that and here the product category we are going to set up here add a new so design i am going to set up here designs and here we have it so i have set up the uh, downloadable content you make sure that you are going to add the source file right there before we, we need only the source file that's why because here if you are going to sell this design they need the source file to modify and so get the highest quality possible or from the source i'm going to name it for example design for t-shirts and update so we have the digital file i'm going to click on save it will normally add that file so let's say that the file is already added we're going to wait for the processing right there i think that everything has been added correctly and boom so you are going to see it into your shop or pop in right there so here we have it it is a digital product now after we have set everything we have published our website and we have chosen the theme here as you can see we have theme color fonts and the buttons we have the option to publish it on the settings or at the top of the header here so basically we have made the website now we are going to head over the dashboard which is going to be here click on godaddy logo at the top and it will show up here all the websites that we have so basically here we are going to select the website that we have created remember you have created a lot or we have a dashboard that contains a lot of websites so we are going to select one of the websites that we have here recently i have created jack's store so i'm going to select it and then we're going to get to the control panel of that website so here we have the control panel of the website you can go ahead and see it now we are going to head over the left side of the screen we have the dashboard the domain if you have a domain or own it and want to connect it to that website we have the possibility to uh, manage the website the email and here finally the store so for the stores you can see and check the products the categories the orders and the marketplace that you have basically here we are going to visit the settings so here we have visited the settings we are going to see here the uh, general you need uh, to set up the general info about your store right there you can go ahead and set up the shipping and shipping uh, profiles addresses and delivery methods right there and the most important part is going to add the payment method which is here payments we're going to set up the method here as you can see we have uh, the option of square stripe paypal and the offline payment so this offline payment is going to be the cash on delivery uh, right there or you can go ahead if you are going to set up an appointment it is going to be on the reservation checkout now you can go ahead and connect the square by clicking on connect it will pop up here a window that will take you or to the square website and connect your account and also you can go ahead and see here that we have stripe you're going to do the same thing click on connect and it will take you to the Stripe platform. The first one is going to be Square or Square Up. So you are going to set up here the email or phone number and you are going to click on continue. So as you can see, this is how simple it is to set up the Square. If you want to set up here the uh, second method or it is going to be Stripe, you're going to disconnect it or disconnect Square and add it. 
Here you can also add two methods at the same time, but it is going to be here one only account accepting credit and debit cards, and the second one is going to be here PayPal. You can also add the third one, which is going to be a, a POD uh, or uh, not POD, but uh, cash on delivery, which is COD, I mean, and you are going to enable it by setting up this one. So we are going to set it here COD cash on demand, cash on not on demand, but on delivery. I don't know why I have the uh, on demand or the, the print on demand in my mind so much so we are going to save it boom so we have enabled three payment methods right there which is the uh, the cash on demand or the offline one we have the paypal and we have the square so you can add a new location right there for your square and also if you want to use it here the uh the stripe you need only to disconnect it as i have told you before so Aside from that, you are going to head over here at the store and at the setting of the store. And you're going to set up the taxes after you have set up everything. So you need to set up the taxes because this is a very, very necessary part. Right there, we are going to set up here. You can go ahead and add them manually. So you need to pay up your taxes and let them collect them because we are going to some troubles if you don't declare them we have the checkout right there which is going to be customizable so you are going to require the shipping address and phone numbers uh, special instructions yes you can go ahead and set up some special instructions and we're going to set them right there if you have if the uh, customers have a message for the uh, vendor right there so don't forget to set up here the products and the marketplaces right there and also the order so you are going to manage your order from here and here we have it so you can go ahead and create a marketplace onto your store and make sure that you are going to benefit from the max on the platform that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one